welcome back everybody so today we're gonna try mango grindage grindage uh, from Grand Armory Brewery now I think this is a variant of wheezing the juice um, it looks like it it's just it has mangoes I can't believe I haven't untapped this I did uh, pick up a six-pack of this I'm not sure how much it was I want to say $13.99 or $14.99 um, and I've been drinking them and so this is about the last one so I thought I would do a review so this was canned on 32320 uh, this is 514 515 uh, 2020 so let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass 6.5% uh, ABV I really like wheezing the juice I do think oh man this goes back years ago I did do the review for that and I believe they changed the recipe once New England IPAs started coming into style. I could be 100% wrong on that, but uh, I do think they do. But let's get back to this one. Uh, so good off-white, almost eggshell colored head, about a finger of head color. Very clear, uh, light, pale, yellow in color. Now, Weez in the Juice is very hazy, very bright orange and or bright yellow in color. Uh, so this does look like it's filtered, that it might not be the exact same recipe, obviously, but the can art uh, is almost the same as Weez in the Juice. So let's go ahead and smell. big pineapple uh big pineapple mango it, it's like i don't know if it's because i i hate to see it say it artificial but it comes off more of a pineapple to me with like a mango in the background kind of that artificial almost alcohol smell I, I guess as it warms up, the mango does come out more, but it, it's almost, to me, I'm, I'm going to stay on it. it. It's that pineapple mango. It's not just pure mango. Uh, but again, I don't know if it's artificial or if they're using something a little different than just mangoes. But it doesn't, it doesn't smell like a mango should. I don't know if that's because of the malt or the hops. Maybe it's a hop presence or what it is, but it it's technically to me not a pure mango smell let's go ahead that doesn't mean it smells bad it just comes off artificial let's go ahead and taste um, lighter body beer like in between um, light and medium and really all I get is like a alcoholic mango like it is an extract or it is it, it's not made with mangoes um, it, it's got kind of a burn but it's good obviously I've drank them I, I I've drank four out of the six I gave one away um, it just doesn't feel or taste like it's mangoes were used There is a hop bitterness presence in there, very low, but you can taste like that dank hop in the back. You really, I, I get some uh, a lightly toasted bread sweetness up front. Then you get that that almost alcoholic mango uh, in there that that stays in your mouth uh, even in the aftertaste. I think it's good. Is it that good? I'd probably have to go with a 3.75 out of 5. It just comes across as artificial, like they were just trying to push something out. Um, I, I don't have it up. Um, I would like to see what it would be if you used the same uh, recipe as um, the other one. Um... A mango for the mugs. Uh, see, juicy IPA. 
it doesn't really say that it uses real mangoes and i think that's the problem even somebody that smells this is going to be like ah that's way too mango pineapple at least in my case like to be called uh you know or have real mangoes i think it would be less of a mango smell and more uh, almost a uh, tropical fruit maybe but i could be wrong but yeah 3.75 out of five for this one so if you enjoyed this video check some more reviews out over here and until next time happy brewing